truck market has come a long ways in the ride, the comfort, and the noise vibration that you feel in a truck today. Some of the trucks are better than some of the cars out there. They want it to feel like a truck and be a truck, but you still want a quality sound to their vehicle. And we're going down the road at a steady speed. You want it to be a quiet vehicle. We measure quite a few different points on a truck, and it depends on the test. Sometimes when we're looking at uh, what's going on inside the engine from a noise standpoint, we measure up to about 70 channels, so 70 noise channels or 70 microphones. When we're looking at the body, we have uh, measured over 100 points at one time. When we're characterizing the powertrain, we actually measured about 120 channels at a time. Another test that we're doing today here is modal analysis on the powertrain of the new truck. And what that actually does is shows us how the powertrain acts when it's going down the road under different road conditions. So we also put the frequency range that we're interested in into the vehicle through it's called electromagnetic shaker, but it's also like a big speaker. And we measure the force going in and the responses of the powertrain. And that will show us what the powertrain actually does going down the road. Everything you see being done in here today, as far as uh, component level or parts, we'll actually put that on a vehicle and confirm that on the road in Arizona. A lot of the new competitors have really stepped it up in terms of isolating their trucks. And so we've really you know, made it a huge effort with, with the next Titan to try to really uh, improve the upper body isolation feel so that you really, really, really do feel uh, like you're isolated from the environment when you close the car and that it really is kind of a quiet and comfortable driving experience. We need to look at a very wide range of road surfaces because we know that's what the customer is going to drive and experience and we need to make sure that we're covered regardless of the road surface that the customer is on. This is a, a four post shaker back here and we use this for measuring uh, road input or tire wheel input uh, vibration and how the, uh, the chassis and the upper body uh, perform with respect to that. We use both the data off this machine and the data that we take on road at the proving grounds. Um, so usually if we have any issue that we experience here, a uh, rough road shake or some tire wheel induced vibration issue, uh, we bring it back into this controlled environment to try to break down exactly what component of the truck that we need to attack or you know fix in order to improve that issue. One of the other tests that we do involves the, an acoustic camera that we put inside the cabin and that helps us pinpoint the location of uh, noise sources that are getting into the cabin. So using that tool, we can quantify uh, the frequency of the noise that's coming in and get a clear uh, understanding of exactly where it's coming from um, because what it generates is a, a color map of the noise that it measures in a 3D environment and then we overlay that with a panoramic photo of the cabin of the vehicle. So putting those two pieces together allows us to pinpoint exactly where noise is coming into the cabin. People use the truck to go camping on the weekend, to go to dinner with their families, and they use it as their work vehicle. So it's, it's important for the truck to be functional, but it's just as important to be able to take phone calls and to be able to work in the truck and live in the truck. Quietness really is a, is a key selling point for a lot of people for full-size trucks now.